Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'll show you how you can add recently viewed products on a WooCommerce website. This feature is definitely going to help you increase the sales on your WooCommerce website. In many cases, the user would like to see the products which they recently browsed on your WooCommerce website. In that case, you can use this feature on the home page of your website or any other page where they can see the recently viewed products on your WooCommerce website. You can also create most viewed products section on your WooCommerce website. And for this, I'm going to use the plugin YITH WooCommerce Recently Viewed Products plugin. The pricing of this plugin is $79.99 per year. This is not a free plugin. This is a premium plugin only. If you want to buy this plugin, I'll give you the link in the description box. You can use my link to buy this product. This plugin has one year of updates and support. You will also get 30 days money back guarantee. And using this plugin, you can create recently viewed products section as well as most viewed products section on your WooCommerce website. So I'll show you how you can install this plugin and how you can create a recently viewed products section on your WooCommerce website. So let's see how does this work. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips, and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website and I'm using WooCommerce on this website. This is a demo website that I have created on Elementor Hosting Services. Now we are going to install the YITH WooCommerce Recently Viewed Products plugin. I have already downloaded this plugin and I have it saved on the computer. So I'm going to upload this plugin on the WooCommerce website. Let's go back to the dashboard of the WordPress website. Go to plugins and click on add new plugin. Click on upload plugin and click on browse. I have it on the desktop. So I'm going to browse the plugin and click on install now. The plugin is installed. Click on activate plugin. All right. So it says thank you for choosing to install the YITH plugin. Here you can add your email address and the license key. Right now, I'm not going to activate the license on this demo website. So I'm going to click on return to dashboard and activate the license later. Now, when you install the plugin in the left hand panel, you will see the option for YITH. You will see it here. If you move the cursor on YITH, you will see the option recently viewed products. Click on it. Now it is asking you to enter the license key again. I'm going to close this one. And these are the general settings of this plugin. Set cookie time will be 30 days. Then select which products to show only viewed products or you can also show viewed products and similar items. So it will show other products which are in the same category or the products having the same tags. Set how many products to show. Currently it is set to six products and on the window it will show four products and two products will be in the slider. Order products by random, latest viewed, sales, newest, price high to low or price low to high. So I'm going to keep it on random. I'm not going to make any changes here. Set which products to hide. If you have any product which is out of stock, you can hide that product. Hide free product. So you don't want to show the free product or the product which are not in the stock. Hide products already bought by the customer. If you want to hide that, you can check this option. Show only products from the most viewed categories. I'm going to keep it as it is. Enable product slider. So we are going to show the slider instead of showing the list of products. We are going to use the slider. Enable product slider autoplay. So it will be auto played. Show dot indicators and show short code in all product pages. Below that we have text for no products found. So if there is no product found for the recently viewed products, it will show this message. You have not viewed any product yet. Section title will be recently viewed products and view all will be this link. All right. Now at the top, you will see another option here. Create a short code, short code for recently viewed products or most viewed products. So I'm going to click on recently viewed products. And for the recently viewed products, you will see these settings. The section title will be recently viewed products. View all. This is the text for the view all. Select which products to show. These are the same settings that we saw here. 
only viewed products or select viewed products and similar items again select by both categories and tags six products and four products per row uh, random products show only most viewed categories enable slider enable slider autoplay you can also show the dot indicator and this is what the short code is created that you can use on any page where you want to show the recently viewed products so i'm going to copy this short code and we are going to add this recently viewed section on the home page itself so this is the home page of this website before adding the short code i'm going to search for some products so that it will show on the viewed products let's go to shop and let's open this product the first one then let's open this one and let's let's open this one so we are going to view three different products crystal pendant earrings gold and pearl earrings and hot air balloon earrings so these products are recently viewed now let's go back and go to home page and click on edit with elementor i'm going to add this product on the elementor website if, if you are using any other page builder you can look for the short code and you can add the short code on the home page on this demo website i'm using elementor page builder so i'm going to use elementor to add the short code let's add it here just below this section discount just above this discount section create a new section and look for short code drag it and drop it here and enter the short code let's add some padding also for this entire section all right so this is how it will look you will see six products are there currently it is not showing the slider but it will show the slider on the actual page let's update it and let's view the page scroll down and you will see this recently viewed products is added on the page so there are six different products it is showing three that we have already viewed now it is going to show the products are randomly you will see these three products are there all right and if i click on view all it will show all the products that are viewed recently if they want to remove the product from the list they can remove it from here let's go back and let's try the other feature that is the most viewed products click on it and we are going to keep the same settings here six then four enable slider enable slider autoplay and i'm going to copy the short code and let's add the short code just below this recently viewed add new section here add some padding look for the short code enter the short code and you will see it here most viewed products now it is going to show the products according to the user if the user is already logged in it will show all the products that particular user has seen recently even if the browser is changed and user is logged into another browser it is going to show the same recently viewed products based on the user activity so let's refresh it this is a recently viewed products and below that we have most viewed products all right so the settings of this plugin are pretty simple you just need to make some changes here how you want to show these products on the page then you need to copy the short code and put it on the page where you want to show a recently viewed products so this is how you can add a recently viewed products on any woocommerce website using the yith woocommerce a recently viewed products plugin if you want to buy this plugin i'll give you the link in the description box you can use my link to buy this plugin so that's it for now see you in the next video do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools if you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section. And press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.